Hello, this is Adam Fisher with ExploreFinancialFreedom.com. So again, today I'm out and about, um, and I just wanted to take a few minutes this morning and do another one of these vlogs. Um, I get a lot of people telling me that they appreciate watching these and just um, getting content. So I want to get a little bit of content out here. Um, and today I want to talk about why I do not like trees. And this is very, very interesting to some people because they assume, again, as a financial educator, as someone who is into Bitcoin and other asset classes, that I, I'm in the business of trading, and I'm not actually in the business of trading. Um, to be totally forthright, I really don't like the trading market. I am not interested in trading myself. I'm interested in buying and holding. Uh, and there's many reasons for that. There's many reasons for that. Um, but I'm just going to hit on probably a couple today. Uh, one of the biggest reasons I'm not interested in trading is the moment you start to sell and you take money out, uh, there's capital gains tax. And I, I, I don't want to be taxed on my capital gains. So if I am profitable in buying an asset, whether it's a stock, whether it's Bitcoin, you name it, the moment I sell, I'm going to get taxed and I don't like that. So that's one reason, but really traders, uh, people who are into trading, they're always looking for the big win. They need to pull out before the big win or, the, or honestly, they got to pull out before the big loss. And so they're always moving their money into different things hoping to win um, and oftentimes I see people who are very emotional and I talked about this in my last vlog you know I'm not interested in being emotional with my money uh, so I create a plan and I work my plan and so for me I'm constantly looking for assets that one I understand and two I love because as soon as I understand the asset and I love the asset, I can begin to then buy it with confidence and hold it forever. And I'm using it as a preservation of my wealth. Uh, and in some cases, assets can even create cash flow, which is even better. Um, but the moment I sell, the moment I have a trading mindset, it, it really begins to just... Uh, I think make me more emotional and I don't want to be emotional with my money. I want my money to follow value. So I'm buying what I believe are the most valuable assets. Thanks for checking out today's vlog.